Welcome to Arlington, Texas, where everything is bigger, including celebrating their championships. We know the Texas Rangers are the reigning World Series champs. The D.C. Defenders trying to avenge a loss against the reigning XFL champions. Last year's XFL champions, the Arlington Renegades. And a trick play here and snuffed out immediately. And when you do your job, you just got to start right here. Watch all of these guys right here. They're just doing their job, doing what they're supposed to do. Stay in there. Don't get up the field. You wait. Third and 10 for Ta'amu. With time. Pump fakes. Uh-oh. Now he's in trouble, scrambling to the sideline. Found a man caught. In Arlington territory, Kelvin Harmon for a big pickup. Staying alive, staying alive, and that's what Jordan Tomo does. He gets the fake in there and realizes, I don't have anywhere to go. Gets out of the pocket, keeps going, and finds an open receiver down the... Play action for Tomo in trouble again. Throws it up for the screen. Harris with a nifty grab there, making some guys miss. Lowers the shoulder, and bad snap. The kick is up. It is good. <laughs> Laser focus. He hits that thing like he's on the 18 at the Masters. And of course, a capacity of 25,000 here for football. They had over 14,000 last week. And the kickoff to Manigo. Gets it inside his 15. Finds a hole now, kicking it to the outside. He's got room to run, trying to shake and bake, and continues moving forward and out of bounds near the 45 yard line to the 46. Excellent starting field position. But he's trying to get on the same page. Second and 11, Perez over the middle, finds his man. Running plays. Scott will keep it. He'll pick up the first down, pulling over a defender. Guys, that's exactly right what you just said there, Kirk. And we actually heard that they kind of copied this from D.C. as he gets another reception. But they have not been able to capitalize. Perez floats one to the end zone. Touchdown! Tyler Bonds! His sixth catch of the game. And this one counts for six. You can't worry about the throw. The throw is what it is. You have great coverage, but it was an amazing throw from Luis Perez to the backside. And the conversion here for two points. You can go for one from the two, two from the five, three from the 10. Lindsey Scott in there, and he's wrapped up. So no conversion, a failed attempt. That Some doubles going his way. Appreciate you, coach. Devion Smith. Will pick up the first down as he burrows forward. Perez, empty backfield. Perez, quick toss over the middle. Finds Deontay Burnett on a slant for a first down for Arlington. Uh, it's just been the USC connection so far. Tyler Vaughn's a former USC receiver. Also, Deontay Burnett. Another high snap. Perez sidearms one and a trick play as they lateral it to Davion Smith and Smith. Dragging defenders down to the 35-yard line. All lined up 14, 15 yards deep. So when the ball is thrown, they all converge. So everybody converged on the ball, and no one had leverage to the outside where Smith was able to get that ball. An outstanding job by Smith seeing it. Third and four. Oh, wide open. Touchdown. Javante Payton. That was an easy pitch and catch. The easiest throw that Perez has thrown all day, a 17-yard strike. One of the hardest and the toughest things to do is distribution in bunch formations. That's why I circled it right before the play. When you get into that bunch, the communication on the defense has to be know who's going out, who's going in, and who's going to stay up top. 13 plays, 75 yards, 847 off the clock. Lindsey Scott in there now. Scott in trouble. Pushes a defender down. He's going to run for it. He's going to dive to the pylon. Is he in? Yes, sir. A two-point conversion. Malik Fisher. If it's not there, go make a play. Lindsey with the stretch. Gaethje Holloway preview for you later. Play action for Ta'amu. Fires to the right side. And it's caught and complete there by Roland. And Roland picks up a big chunk of change there. Mm. Higgins flexes out to Amu with a huge hole up the middle. And he slides down near the 15 yard line. It's 15 Denver. So you know it was a called run. He doesn't take one hesitation. 
it's as soon as he got that snap, he's going north and south. Ready, ready. Take him. Empty backfield to Amu. Fires, finds his man. It's caught, and he walks into the end zone for a touchdown. Chris Rowland was rolling. That was the one-on-one -on -one that he needed. So you got the one-on-one -on -one with the wide receiver on a linebacker. That's still, and that's easy. That's what the motion did, and that's a great play call. Outstanding job. A two-point conversion attempt here for DC. To Amu, fires. It is caught. No, they're going to say incomplete. Yards, three minutes and seven seconds off the clock. That throw is right there. It's on the money. He's just got to hold on to it. A nice job there at the end by 22, Jamal Carter. See if they get some twists and movement up front. DC two of four on third downs. Big third down here, third and seven. To Amu with time. Wants it all. Overshoots his target incomplete on the season. Make it six of six. And now seven of seven. It's McCrane again, ball down, kick up. McCrane making some hay. Third and seven for Perez and company. DC showing blitz. They back off, but they get there to his feet. Throws it over his intended target, but caught near midfield by Tyler Vaughns, the USC product. And I don't know how this ball fell into the arms of Roberson. Right in his lap, Larice Perez. Lindsey Scott in at quarterback now. The incarnate word product. He keeps it. He's going to think to toss it. He loses the football and able to pounce on it again. Greg Williams, the defensive coordinator, is doing. He's got a bear look. So look at all these defenders when Lindsey Scott's in the game because he's trying to constrict where Lindsey Scott can go. And that's why you've got unblocked defenders in the face of Lindsey Scott. There's nowhere to go. Lenny Brown to the right of Perez. Perez lets one fly. Man is wide open for the catch there, and it's Tyler Vaughn's again, and taken down. Pressure coming. Perez gets it away, but too high for Canella. Could not bring it in. Third and ten here now for Perez and the Renegades. Perez with time. Pocket collapsing. Dumps it off to Letty Brown. Brown's going to pick up the first down. Bounces and pinballs off defenders as he gets to the 48-yard line. We did not hear from Greg Williams, the D.C. defensive coordinator. Perez throws. What a stab there. Ball on the 40. That's where it's spotted now. Play action for Perez. All day to throw. Over the middle to his tight end. Complete for another first down. And still fighting for yardage. Day Day Hunter back there as well. He's a speedster. And he keeps and gets in the end zone. Lindsey Scott, Jr., his second touchdown of the season, 13 yards right up the gut. 12 of 15. Here's a two-point conversion. Perez goes to the air. It is caught and in for the conversion. On the outside toward the sideline. Get up. There it is. Oh, oh. To Burnett for the first down. Yeah, just cover up the sweat. That's all I need. <laughs> 119 yards on the ground for Arlington, 412 total. Letty Brown makes a couple of guys miss, gets down to the 30-yard line. Third and five here for Arlington. They dump it down. Oh, and a drop by Letty Brown. Rusolino with the kick. It is good. So if you got the over, cash that one. <laughs> a 10-point lead for Arlington. It ain't over yet, like you guys said. You said this earlier, Kirk. You guys had a game that was an 11-point game with just about a minute or so to go last week. This is a rematch of that XFL championship between these two teams here in the UFL. Rusolino with the kick. The return. Roland in space. Makes a man miss. Still on his feet and takes it into... Arlington territory at the 35-yard line. They would have to score first. It can only happen in the fourth quarter if you're trailing. DC is in that pos pos position right now as Ta'amu slide. Ready, ready. There you go. Hand off again to Harris. Harris caught by his feet down to the one. Yeah. The cornerback, Deron Lowe. There you go. 
to Harris. Trying to push his way in. Is he in? Yes, sir, he is. To Amu. Under pressure. He's going to tuck it and run. Is he in? Yes, sir. He is in for the two point conversion. And it is a two point ball game. But let's look at the conversion first. We got to take first. a look at this for. We got a lot to look at here. We have to look at. This is what this league is all about here. This type of play. Ta'amu with time. Throws it over the middle. Caught by his receiver. Near the 45 yard line. Ty Scott has to go back for it. First down. Ta'amu again to the air, to the sideline. What a play there by Harmon. It was almost picked off. Harmon down the sidelines and pushed out at the 26. He missed the interception. So by him missing the interception, you get Harmon with the catch, and he turns it up. Lowell's just looking back at him, but now he's in motion. From 49 for the win. The kick is up. It is good! DC has come from behind! The second week in a row, they survive! 29 28 that they kick the field goal they win this game by one point not only do they cover the two and a half <laughs> they win outright oh my goodness what a win